G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now in today's video, we're going to take a look at a little bit of a gotcha and something that you just need to be aware of if you're managing your tasks inside of Microsoft Loop. Now, as we know, we've got a couple of different applications. So think of Microsoft To Do and Microsoft Planner to manage our tasks. Now Microsoft Loop introduces the task list component. So we can create a and embed a task list inside of a Loop page. Uh, and that is what we're going to take a look at uh, in this video and just a little bit of a gotcha that I want to share with you. So we can see here that I'm on a Microsoft Loop page. It is called Microsoft Loop HQ Course Planning. Now we can see here I've hit the forward slash and I'm going to add a task list. So let's add that and let's give this task list a name. So let's call this um, Planning Tasks. Okay, and then what we can do here is we can create a task and then assign it to somebody. So I'm going to call this one gathering requirements and I will assign this to Alex. So Alex has already got access to this workspace. So he has assigned that task and let's give this a due date. So we'll give it a due date of the 11th of May. Now this um, uh, task list actually integrates in with Microsoft Planner. So if I now open up Planner and I will just give this uh, Planner page, uh, the hub, a refresh here. So we'll go to the hub and then I will click on all. Now our task li lists that we create inside of Microsoft Loop appear here as uh, as Planner plans. And we can see here that I have now got this planner plan called Microsoft Loop HQ Course Planning. When I open up this, you'll see that I've got a bucket called Tasks, and there is the task that I have just created. All right, so we can cre uh, manage our tasks and interact with our tasks inside of Planner. Now, what we can also do on this um, Microsoft Loop page, though, is we can actually create uh, a specific loop component of this task list. So I can click the six little dots here and I can click on create loop component. Now what this does is it wraps this task list in its own specific um, component, all right? Now, what does that mean for our planner, uh, planner plan that is uh, associated to this task list? So let me just jump up to here. I'm gonna refresh this page and let's see what happens. See, we can see here that that task list has now been removed. Because we've created a, um, a specific loop component of that task list, it's actually been removed and has removed itself from this planner plan now. All right, so if I jump back into Microsoft Loop and I can copy this component though, and then I can uh, extract it from this page and I can insert it into other endpoints, could be a Teams chat, could be an Outlook email or something like that. But what has happened is that it's been removed from this planner plan. But what, we, what happens if we create a new task list? So I'm going to jump down to here, I'll go forward slash and I'll go task list. All right, so let's create another additional task list on this same page. So let's go for uh, create IA document. All right, well, again, we'll assign that to Alex. We'll select Alex from the list. We'll set a due date on this task. And we are now good to go. So I'll jump back into Planner. Let me just refresh this, uh, this Planner plan here. Now you'll see that that new task list has come in here as a bucket. There's the task of the newly created task list that we have just created. So just something to be aware of, if you are managing your tasks, creating task lists inside of Microsoft Loop, and then you create a specific component of that task list that will no longer surface inside of Microsoft Planner. But if you create a new task list from that same loop page, that, that planner plan is still there and the new task list then gets created as a new bucket inside of that planner plan. So I hope that brings you some value today. Uh, as I've mentioned before, Microsoft Loop is not just about the, the modern co-creation, but also uh, is very powerful in modern uh, task management as well. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode.